Good morning, guys. We are at the beautiful Coco Key, the private island owned by Royal Caribbean, and we are so happy to finally be back here. We've been here before, but it was before they refurbished the island. So the last time that we were here, it was just this tiny little island full of palm trees gracing the shoreline into the ocean, and it was absolutely beautiful. They had some hammocks there, and it was just a super chill vibe and you truly felt that you were in the middle of the Caribbean on that small little island. Now it's turned into a little bit of a different destination. There's a huge water park on the island but we have heard that they have kept some more chill areas by the beach where you can still relax and still hopefully get those beautiful Caribbean vibes. So we can't wait to go and explore the island we actually got super lucky because we heard from one of the crew members yesterday that we were supposed to be here on this island together with another World Caribbean ship. Independence of the Seas was supposed to be docking with us, but now with the current situation, they only want to have one ship at a time on the island. So that means that we will have plenty of space for the guests on board our ship. And I'm so happy that we didn't have to cancel this port of call too because we already had to cancel Orlando. So let's get out of this chair. I've been enjoying the ocean views on the balcony this morning, but we have got to get ourselves off the ship and onto Kokoki. So let's go. <laughs> First, some breakfast to have energy for the day. Hi guys, we ran into a Finnish guy working here on Anthem of the Seas. He's on Coco Cay this morning. We found uh, him yeah. here at the t-shirt shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time that we've ran into a Finnish person working on one of the Royal Caribbean ships, so this was a fun surprise. <laughs> Ball pool. <laughs> so let's see how this will work if we can get our balls to stay in place here. It looks like quite uneven ground. <laughs> oh, so sorry. <laughs> A bit too hard. <laughs> the Oasis Lagoon. It is the largest freshwater pool I think in the Caribbean if not a larger area but for sure largest freshwater pool in the Caribbean and I think we'll just chill here for a little bit. Looks great. First 
expressions. Oasis Lagoon pool is freezing. <laughs> freezing cold. Oh, it'll take me a while to get into this pool. All right, I refuse to be my sister who stands here for an hour trying to get in. So we are just gonna go cold turkey. Are we ready? I'm not sure. <laughs> here we go. Oh, oh that's cold. Oh, okay, all better. We survived. Oh, okay, now it's refreshing. All right, that was the way to do it. No torturing yourself, getting in slowly, just to rip off the band-aid. Rip off the band-aid. <laughs> but this pool looks amazing. There's these little islands of some vegetation there and the pool is so big and it's so empty at the moment. I can imagine that it'll get quite busy towards the afternoon as more people make their way onto the island. But for now, it seems like it's our private playground. today I had to get the Coco Loco which is the signature drink on the island. Cheers guys! Oh there's a lot of rum in there! <laughs> nice! All right we had a couple drinks at the Oasis Lagoon and now we're headed to find something to eat and I think our destination will be South Beach. board after an amazing day at Coco Cay. I have to say that I was really pleasantly surprised about the island. It exceeded all of my expectations. I was a little bit pessimistic about what we would find with the new renovations but it was really great. There was something to do for everyone and with the amount of activities that they have on the island it was really easy to find exactly what you wanted to do because the crowds were very evenly spread out throughout the island so that was perfect. Now just heading back to the cabin to get cleaned up because I am all salty from swimming in the ocean and then let's see what we get up to for the rest of the day. Is that a shrimp or a crab? Maybe a shrimp. So cute! All right we are just about to call it a night we have enjoyed some of the shops on board, a few more drinks for the evening, and we are on our way back to the cabin, and then our heads will hit the pillow after a super fun day on Coco Cay. And let's see, now we are headed back up north, but tomorrow should still be a relatively warm day. I think they said like 25 degrees Celsius, so plenty of time to still enjoy the pools outside 
and then on the last day it'll probably be a little bit more chilly but luckily there are the indoor pools which are always warm and of course the hot tubs are also nice even if the weather is a little bit cooler but there is still so much more to do so join me again for the next daily vlog thanks for watching this one see you on the channel again next time bye guys <laughs>